Shalayim Tishkach Yemini Im Eshkachech Yerushalayim Tishkach Yemini Tidbak Leshoni Lechiki Yerushalayim Al Ros Simchati Tonight we pray for the wounded and the dead. We pray for the abducted. And we pray for the IDF soldiers who are at this very hour performing heroic actions we dare not even imagine. Im eshkachech, if I forget you, O Jerusalem, if I stop thinking of you for even a moment, if I do not keep Jerusalem in memory even in my happiest hour, rosh simchati, the peak of my joy. That's what Simchat Torah is supposed to be, a peak joy, Rosh Simcha. It is to be our happiest of holy days, but that happiest joy has been denied us by today's attacks on Israel. In the coming days and weeks, our congregation and our community will mobilize to support Israel in many ways, I am sure. But tonight we gather strength from the holy day, from our calendar, which is always our anchor, and we draw strength from our Torah itself, and of course we draw strength from one another. A true story, one Simchat Torah, when the Hakafot were underway, Three men placed a wooden plank at the center of the dancing, and they began to encircle the plank. And everyone wondered, what could this ritual possibly be? We've never seen it before. And so they hushed the crowds, and the dancing stopped, and the three men explained that they once were together hanging on for dear life in the barracks of a concentration camp. Someone had managed to smuggle a Sefer Torah miraculously into the camp, and so they hid it under the floorboards of the barrack. And when Simchat Torah came, they wouldn't dare take it out for fear of what would become of them or what would become of the Torah itself. And so the men of the barracks danced around the wooden plank which they knew was hiding the Torah beneath. They had to hold in their imaginations the idea of Torah, the memory of Torah, the hope of Torah. And that was enough then, under those dire circumstances, to lift their spirits. That was enough to sustain them on that Simcha Torah which felt like all darkness. Tonight, thank God, we have Torah scrolls that we can carry in our own arms without fear. Tonight, thank God, we will bring Torah up from underground, up from hiding, and allow for the light of Torah to radiate, not only for us, not only for Israel, but for all the world. That is what Torah is for. That is our sacred mission, to be an or lagoyim, a light unto the nations. The ethics that are imbued in every line of Torah, the justice and the righteousness that it demands, these are often resisted by a cruel world. 
In every age, there are those who try to blot it out with their ugly hatred and their brutal violence. But Torah is too strong, and our bond to Torah cannot be broken. So tonight, yes, our joy is diminished, but our bonds to Torah and to the Jewish people and to the land of Israel, these are all strong and reinforced tonight. So how will we show that our joy is diminished? First of all, if the little ones come upstairs with flags, thank God for them, they will be the only ones with flags waving tonight. There will be beautiful Torah scrolls to hold in our arms, but only four tonight, not the usual 12 plus four that we enjoy. And there will be singing, but there is no band, just our voices. And there will be movement. There will be the seven hakafot around the sanctuary, but no dancing. Instead, it will be a deliberate and dignified and proud march. One friend in Israel said this afternoon, we were denied our Simchat Torah here this year. It makes me happy knowing that you will have Simchat Torah for us. And so we will. Thank you for being here. Thank you for those who are joining us through the live stream. Let us draw strength from one another and from our holy day. <clears throat> Havdalah can be found on page 457. And maybe just a little melody first. Again. When we were planning for tonight, when we were planning for tonight, we said we're not going from Shabbat Kodesh to Chol. We're not going from a sacred day to an ordinary day. We're going from Kodesh le Kodesh, from one holy day of Shabbat and Shemini Atzeret to another holy day of Simchat Torah. And so we said there won't be a candle lit. That's how you make Havdalah ben Kodesh le Kodesh between holy day and holy day without the candle. But normally there would be bisamim together with the wine. But because we are diminished tonight, we're going to deny ourselves also the bisamim, the spices which are usually meant to lift the neshama. Um, tonight our, our neshamas are heavy, and so we'll make havdalah just with the wine. Israel, 
לששת ימי המעשה, ברוך אתה אדוני, המבדיל בין קודש לקודש, יאי לאי 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 Eliyahu Hanavi is the one who will announce the arrival of that time of perfection when everyone is secure, when everyone is at home, when everyone is healthy, when everyone has what they need, where, when everywhere is peace. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishvi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi, Bimhera ve'amenu, Yavo elenu, Im Mashiach ben David, Imashiach ben David, Eliyahu ha-Navi, Eliyahu ha-Tishmi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu ha-Giladi. For the young families who have just joined us, I want to reiterate one thing that I said before you came up which is thank God for you. Uh, thank you for bringing your children tonight. Just seeing them lifts our spirits and they will be the ones who will wave the flags for the rest of us and they will be the ones to lead us in the march with our Torah scrolls because they are the blessing for the future. We turn to page 415 so that we can warm up learning the liturgy of the Hakafot, the seven parades with the Torah scrolls, come with special words, and they're exactly the words we need on this day. Anna Adonai, please God, Hoshiana, deliver us please. And you can see the first word, Anna, and the last word, Na, means please, please. There is a beseeching, there is a, a pleading in this prayer. So we will sing each one with full hearts tonight. Anna Adonai, Hoshiana, Hoshiana. Anna Adonai, Hatzlichana, Hatzlichana. Anna Adonai, Anneinu, Veyom Koreinu, Anneinu. Anneinu, Anneinu, Veyom Koreinu, Anneinu, 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 Veyom Koreinu, Anneinu, 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 Veyom Koreinu, Anneinu, 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 Veyom Koreinu, Elohe Harucho, Hoshiana, Hoshiana, Hain Livavo, Tatslihana, Tatslihana, O El Hazak, the Yom Kore, no one knew, one knew, one knew, the Yom Kore, no one knew, Anneinu ve'om koreinu Dover tzedakot hoshiana Hoshiana Hatur bilvusho hatzlichana Hatzlichana Hatik v'chatsiraneinu ve'om koreinu Anneinu, 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 Veyom Koreinu, Anneinu, 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 Veyom Koreinu, 
For the honor of the first hakafa, the first uh, grabbing of this Torah and bringing it out into the people, it is self-selecting. All of them are self-selecting tonight. So they are in honor of the books of our Torah, and the first book of our Torah is none other than Breshit, Genesis. And so if this year you have started something new, if you are feeling creative, if even in darkness there is a spark of light that is burning inside of you right now with the desire to build something, come on up and grab a Torah scroll. And if you are too slow to come up and grab a Torah scroll and they're all gone by the time I finish talking about this, then follow the Torah into the Kahal so that we can all have another chance. And that's the rule tonight. If you don't get it at first, follow the Torah as they come out into the community. Dover Tidako Toshiana Oshiana Hadur Bilvusho Hatslikana Hatslikana Hatik Vikasirane Nu Vyom Kore Nu Ane Nu Ane Nu Ane Nu Vyom Kore Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael Chai. 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 O Davinu Chai, O Davinu Chai, O Davinu, O Davinu, O Davinu Chai, O Davinu Chai, O Davinu Chai, O Davinu, O Davinu, O Davinu Chai. Yesher Koach, you kids keep marching and march proudly. And join us up here when you're ready for the second hakafa. For the second hakafa, we are, of course, in the book of Shemot, in the book of Exodus. And so if you have overcome something this year, if you have found freedom through adversity, if you have overcome a challenge in your life and are feeling hopeful about the future, even if it is a fragile hope, then I invite you to come up and grab a Torah right now. If you have overcome something in the last year, if you have overcome a challenge, if you are feeling free, if you have some element of hope in your life, now is the time to come and grab a Torah and march for Exodus. Zach ve hashar hoshiana, hoshiana. Chomel dalim hatslichana, hatslichana. Tov metivanenu ve yom koreinu, aneinu, aneinu, aneinu ve yom koreinu. Lo yo 
Leviticus, please come forward. Please take a Torah. If you have made a sacrifice this year, if you have volunteered of your time, if you have given tzedakah, if you have found a charge in your soul that has given you meaning, if you have given of yourself to our community, to our people, to our nation, to our country, to our world, please come and grab a Torah and dance forward. Let us be the ones who give offerings of ourselves. And if you haven't had the chance, and if you don't have enough time, then follow the Torah as they go out into our community. Vissed a corande, no, the yom corre, no, ane, no, ane, no, ane, no, the yom corre, no, ane, no, ane, no, ane, no, the yom corre, no, ane, no, ane, no, ane, no, the yom corre, no, ane, no, ane, no, ane, no, the yom. Bar numbers the great census of our people. And so if your family has grown or changed this year, if there is a new person in your family, whether they came in through marriage, if they came in through love, if there was a new baby born, if there was a, a, a cousin you discovered, if you went on 23andMe and did some genealogy and reached out to someone completely random and now you have a fourth distant cousin you never knew about, if someone you love got married, if you made a new best friend, any a new kind. Puppy. Huh? A new puppy. A new puppy. A new or puppy. A cat. A, cat, a, a kitten. kitten. You if your family, a new daughter-in-law. I know that's the two of you. You should grab a second one. Melech Olami, Hoshiana, Hoshiana, Naor Beatir, Hatslichana, Hatslichana, Somech Novli Mane. The Yom Kore, no, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no, the Yom Kore, no, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no, the Yom Kore, no, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no, the Yom Kore, no, I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't no, the Yom Kore. Ulam Kulo, Gesher Tsar Behod, Gesher Tsar Behod, Gesher Tsar Behod, Kol Haulam Kulo, Gesher Tsar Behod, Gesher Tsar
Devarim, Deuteronomy, this hakafa is for you if you have completed a major project, if you graduated, if you got a new degree, if you were working on something at work that you just finally got done, something that has been hanging over your head and you finally finished it, any kind of finishing. Did you go from being a camper to a CIT? Did you go from being CIT to being staff? Did you go from being a kindergartner to being in grade school? Did you start university? Did you finish university? This hakafa, this Torah is for you. Israel, betach patut nai, Israel, bagidamu. Israel, Israel, betach patut nai, Israel, bagidamu. Israel, 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 betach patut nai, Israel. Yehoshua, the book of Joshua, homecoming and finding your place. If you are a new member at Holy Blossom this year or a returning member to Holy Blossom this year, if it has been years since you felt like you could come here regularly and now we have become part of your practice again, if Toronto is a new home to you today or any day, if the Jewish community has become a home to you in this last year in any way, this hakafa is for you. Kadosh Venora Hoshiana Hoshiana Rahum Vichanu Hatsli Hana Hatsli Hana Shomer Hapri Tane Nu Vyom Kore Nu Ane Nu Ane Nu Ane Nu Vyom Kore Nu Ane Nu Al and our seventh hakafa, Hatikva, the hope and the land of Israel.
If you have been to the land of Israel in the last year, if you are committed to going to the land of Israel this year, no matter what, if Israel is in your heart at this moment, this hakafa is for you. And if there are only four Torahs and there are so many of us, then now is the time to follow the Torah and to dance with your heart. Tomech temimi mahoshiana, oshiana, takif laad hatslihana, hatslihana, tamim bemasavane nu, veyom kore nu, ane nu, ane nu, ane nu, veyom kore. Israel, Vehimru, Himeru, Amen. Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'akol Israel. Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'akol Israel. Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'akol. Kol Israel, Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'Akol Israel, Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'Akol Israel, Yahse Shalom, Yahse Shalom, Shalom Aleinu ve'Al Kol Israel. I know we have some very special young leaders in the congregation that Rabbi McCarroll has recruited to come and hold this Torah at this sacred time. So if that is one of you, if you are one of our teen leaders that has volunteered to hold the Torah, you are one of those people, then now is the time to come up and hold the Torahs with us. So that is. I can see three of you in this back row over here. And Jesse Saul, where are you? Okay. Great. You can stay up here with us, not a problem. Seated, please, everyone. That's okay. You can be seated. And so, of course, what we celebrate tonight is the gift of Torah by ending one cycle of reading Torah and beginning another. Um, and so we have a very special tradition of we read from the end of the book of Deuteronomy and invite a we're inviting a chatan uh, devarim, so to speak. We're reading for anybody who does want to follow along from the very very last words of our Torah on page one, beginning on page one thousand four hundred and twenty-seven. 
if anybody wants to look at the plout commentary. And then keeping in mind, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. So for this, uh, these last words of Deuteronomy, I just want to remind you that uh, there's a custom when we finish any book of Torah, we stand for the last three verses. So you want to keep an eye out for that. It's a way of honoring the book as it's coming to conclusion. This time, we're not only ending a book of Torah, but we're concluding the entire scroll. And then after we read from it, we say three words. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek, be strong, be strong, and let us strengthen one another. And it seems that those words are always fitting, but especially tonight. Okay, so then we need our Chatan Devarim to come and recite the blessing before the Torah. Um, it is my pleasure to call, um, well, our Kala Devarim, uh, as it may be. So I'd like to call up Gillian Hellfield, um, Ta Amod Hadassi Yosifa Bachlama Vatihila La Alia. Baruch Adonai Hambara Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Baruch Baruch Adonai Baruch Adonai Amen. Vayomer Adonai Elav, Zot Haaretz Asher Nishbatil Avraham Uli Yitzchak Uli Yaakov Lemor. God said to Moses, This is the land that I promised to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, Lezaracha et nena heriticha le'enecha, be'enecha. Vishama lo ta'avor. I am giving this land to your descendants, but you can only see it with your eyes. You cannot enter into it. You cannot cross over into the land. Vayamot sham Moshe, Eved Adonai, Be'eretz Mo'av, Alpi Adonai. Then Moses died, a servant of God, in the land of Mo'av at the word of God. Vayikbor oto, Begai Be'eretz Mo'av, Mul Beit Peor. And God buried Moses in the valley of Mo'av facing Beit Peor. And no one knows to this very day where Moses is buried. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dimmed and his strength was not diminished. And the children of Israel wept for Moses at the steps of Moab for 30 days. And then the days of crying for and, and mourning for Moshe came to conclusion. Then Joshua, the son of Nun, was filled with a spirit of wisdom, for Moses had placed his hands upon him. Vayishma'u elav b'nei Yisrael, and the children of Israel listened to Joshua, v'yasu ka'asher tziva Adonai Moshe, and they did for him just as God had uh, commanded them concerning Moses. V'lo kam navi od b'Yisrael k'Moshe, and never again, did there arise among the people of Israel a prophet like Moses, Asher Yedao Adonai Panim El Panim, who knew God face to face? The Chol Haotot Vahamoftim Asher Shlacho Adonai Laasot Beeretz Mitzrayim the Faro, the Chol Avadav, the Chol Artzo. Moses was sent by God to perform signs and wonders in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh and his courtiers and before all the land. Ulechol hayad ha-chazakah, ulechol ha-morah ha-gadol, 
Asher Asa Moshe Le'ene Kol Yisrael. And with a mighty hand and with uh, great strength did Moses perform these deeds before the eyes of all Israel. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Baruch atah. Baruch atah, Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chai olam natabot ha'cheinu, baruch atah, Adonai, noten ha'Torah. Zot ha-Torah asher sam Moshe lifnei v'nei Yisrael al pi Adonai be'ar Moshe. And you can be seated. Um, so we just want to say a few nice words about Gillian before we continue with our reading of Breshit. Um, so this section centered Moses and his leadership and his law and the legacy that he was leaving behind as that he was leaving behind to the people of Israel. And so tonight we honor your leadership, Gillian, in all the ways that you bring it to us, whether that is uh, from your contributions to adult education, to just being a warm and kind and friendly and welcoming face and a strong presence. So thank you for being such a crucial part of our Holy Blossom Torah, the values that we wish to share and impart to our congregation. And we, we hope for you and your family to be strengthened and for um, your learning and your teaching and being part of our narrative. And together with Eric, with whom you've just celebrated a special anniversary, I believe. Yeah. Um, and so on, on that note, Yashir Koach to you. And we'd like to call up Eric as our Khatan Bere sheet. Eric Klein, Ya Amod Shlama Azriel Ben Tzvi Veshulamit. And so, as we turn to our Torah, we are back in Genesis, starting with the days one, two, and seven, okay? So we are on all the way back, all the way back at page 19 of our Plout Commentary. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Ham Varach Leolam Va'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melch Olam Asher Bachar Bano Mikol Ha'amim V'natan Lanu Et Torata Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Atorah Amen Bereshit Parah Elohim Et HaShamayim Ve'et HaAretz Ve'ha'aretz Ha'et HaTohu Vavohu Ve'choshech Al Penei Tehom Ve'ruach Elohim Merachefet Al Penei HaMayim Ve'yomer Elohim Yehi Or Ve'yehi Or Ve'ya Elohim Et Ha'or Kitov Ve'yavde El Elohim ben or uvein hachoshech vayikra Elohim le or yom velachoshech kahar alayla vayhir vayhivoker yom echad vayomer Elohim yehiraki abetoch amayim vehiil mavdiil ben mahayim la mahayim vayas Elohim. 
Elohim et harakia vayavdel ben hamayim asher mitachat lerakia uven hamayim asher me'al lerakia vayichen vayikra Elohim lerakia shamayim vayihir vayivoker yom sheni vayachulu hashamayim ve'aretz ve'chol tzivam vayachal Elohim be'yom hashvi'i milachto asher asa vayishbot be'yom hashvi'i miko milachto asher asa vayivarech Elohim et yom hashvi'i ve'kadesh oto ki vo'shavat miko milachto asher bara Elohim la'asots. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu Torah t'emet v'chayi olam natah b'tochinu Baruch atah Adonai Noten ha'torah So Eric, we get to say some nice things about you too. We know how much you love that. Um, so... <laughs> In, in this book of Genesis, um, we learn uh, somewhere in this passage that it is not good for a person to be alone. So we wanted to give the first shout out to both you and Gillian and the family that you have built and could not do this without. So to Will, to Adrian, to Maggie, um, who support you every step of the way in this beautiful partnership and allow for both of you, Eric and Gillian, to contribute everything that you do to our community. Genesis to me also, um, we have just been reading about these days of creation. It is about creativity um, and about new beginnings. And so we are grateful to you for your continued and upcoming leadership and for all the good and quiet work that you do and will continue to do and for simply being just one of the menchiest people that we all know. <laughs> so, yashir kawach and hag sameach. And because um, Jillian and Eric have for many years now been leaders of our Shin Shinim program, hosting Shin Shinim, um, staying in touch with our graduating Shin Shinim, uh, I asked if they might say a word about uh, what they're hearing throughout the day as they've been reaching out to Friends of Holy Blossom. Um, the, first thing I, the first thing I heard this morning was from Noah, who was uh, one of our Shin Shinit a few years ago, um, to let us know that she was safe, her brother has been called up, and Or Shalem is one of three siblings who have been called up, and um, I've been hearing little bits from them through, throughout the day. They're okay, uh, but everybody's very shaken, very upset. It's a very, very, very painful day for them and for anyone who has family, friends, relations in Israel and who loves Israel. Um, I'm sure we've all been in shock and pain today, and don't know what else to say. But anyway, these are remarkable young people who come to us um, when they're 18 to serve in our synagogues and our day schools, and then they go back and join the army to be of service to their country, and uh, they're incredible. And we're thinking of all of them today. And we're in touch with others, but they haven't reached back to us yet. Too. Not so yet. Yeah. as we hear more, we'll pass it through the rabbis to pass on to the congregation. Yeah. We rise. Oh, sorry. Vezot ha-Torah asher samo she Yisrael al pi Adonai ve'ar Moshe. Love, come back. 
adjusting a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Left. Left. Yeah, hallelujah, shem Adonai, ki nizkav shemo levado, hodo al eretz v'shamayim, v'yaren keren lehamo, tehila lechol chasidav, Livene Israel, Amekirovo, Halleluja, Halleluja, Et Chaim Hi, Lama Chazikimba, Vetom Cheha, Meushar, Nerachecha, Darche Noam, Vechon Tivoteha, Shalom, Hashivenu, Adonai, Elecha, Venashuva, Chadesh, Chadesh, Yamenu, Chadesh, Yamenu, I think it's worth noting that two of the four Sifre Torah that we honor tonight are survivor Torahs of the Shoah. And so we draw strength from the stories that they have endured and the stories that they continue to teach. That concludes our ceremonies for tonight. There is a reception waiting for everyone downstairs. We don't have the klezmer band as we usually would. We won't have the dancing because uh, our joy is diminished tonight. Um, please do reach out to your friends and your family and your colleagues and even old acquaintances in Israel. They are not okay. They need to hear from us. And uh, that is really the, the most important work that we can do now. Please do keep an eye on the Holy Blossom website. Um, because I assure you in the coming days there will be um, calls to action for us as well. So um, you can make your way downstairs either through the spiral staircase or the uh, elevator and all the children get first dibs to the sweet table of black and white. Those are desserts. Yeah, we're going to stand together for Hatikva and... Uh, the black and white cookies are black ink on white parchment.
The lovely smell you're smelling right now is the rugelach that our young people made with the help of child of this congregation, Rebecca Howard, and her micro bakery off of St. Clair, Becked Goods. So not only are there beautiful desserts that are uh, black on white, there are even more fresh, beautiful desserts coming. So please do join us for that reception. Thanks, man.